Hey everybody, Carl Bethke from Rush Outdoors. Uh, today we're actually going to test the new 2016 Phoenix XL. Um, everybody's used to the Phoenix being a 32 inch axle, the axle bow. Uh, this year they changed it quite a bit actually. We went to a 36 inch axle to axle, 7 inch brace height bow. Um, you can see that the cam's a little bit different this year on the uh, Phoenix bow itself. Uh, this one I have a Ultra Rust HDX on it. Uh, my dead center stabilizer setup and a uh, shear lock sight. I'm going to actually use this for my spot bow and probably my indoor 3D bow. Um, set up a string loop. I'm going to be shooting out of it today a PS23. Uh, it's a little over spine. It's actually a 350 spine. Uh, it's got vein uh super spines on the back of it, 2.3s with a unibushing setup and an A knock and 100 grains in the nose. Probably shooting it at 65 pounds for 3D. Uh, we'll see how that goes, but we're going to be testing this arrow through the bow today. Uh, fit and finish on the bow is awesome. Uh, this year some things have actually changed. This bow has the Axion um, limb silencers on it. You can see that they changed the string stop this year. The other thing that I noticed is obviously the uh, cable slide system is a little bit different. You will notice on the Phoenix XL that you don't have the roller cable slide system. Uh, like you do on the DEFCON 7, DEFCON 6, and um, the DEFCON 6M. But the whole setup seems really solid, so we're going to run it through its paces here and see how we, how we do with it, give you guys an honest opinion, and show you some chrono numbers on the Phoenix XL from Obsession this year, the 2016. Good. The first thing I'm going to do is shoot the bow a couple times just to get a little bit used to it. Um, this is my personal bow. This will be what I'll be shooting a lot of my indoor 3D stuff with and uh, spots. I may shoot a Magnum. I haven't really decided. We're still testing arrows and stuff. So it's the first couple times we're going to be running arrows to the bow. So we'll see how it goes. Draws nice and smooth. Real solid back wall. Practically no vibration in the bow, just like all the other obsessions. Seems pretty quick. The bow's actually set at 60 pounds right now. So I'll be interested to see what we get for some speed numbers with the bow. But I'm really looking forward to shooting this bow for spots for sure. And it holds nice, as e nice and even, uh, thanks to the dead center stabilizer set up on it. Uh, I will be playing with some weight and stuff for offset, but we'll see how that goes. So let's put a couple more arrows through it. Real smooth on the draw, nice and solid on the back wall. Alright everybody, we got the chrono set up. Um, I'm actually going to be drawing 60 pounds on this bow, like I said, shooting a PS23. Um, I'll have to run the numbers on it to get you guys some numbers. I'll do that here at the end, let you know exactly what the weight is. Like I said, a 60 inch bow, uh, 29 inch draw, Phoenix XL 2016. And uh, we'll shoot it through the chrono and see what we get. I'm hoping for that I don't know, with this arrow, probably the 280 to 290 range. Um, we'll see how it goes. Let's check it out, see what we get. All right, guys, well, there you have it. Uh, it's actually a lot faster than I thought it was going to be with that arrow. Like I said, I'll have to weigh that arrow out, let you guys know exactly what that is. 
I'll let you know here in the back side of the video. But uh, both set at 60 pounds, 29 inch draw, shooting at PS23. Um, that's actually phenomenally fast. I'm extremely happy for that. Well, there you go, guys. The 2016 Phoenix XL, a 36 inch axle to axle, 7 inch brace height bow. Uh, this one's actually going to be my indoor bow and probably my indoor 3D bow. I may use it for ASA and stuff outside. Uh, the speeds and everything are going to be really close to what I need, so there won't be a lot of playing around with, with speed adjustments and things like that. Uh, this one I have the dead center stabilizers on it, Sherlock Sight, HDX QD, or QAD rust on it. Uh, the combination seems to work really well for me. But if you get a chance, you want to check it out, the Phoenix XL or any of the other Obsession models, be sure to give me a call here in southern Wisconsin at 608-445-7608, Rush Outdoors. My name's Carl Bethke. Thanks for watching.